In this video, I'm going to show you three easy ways you can add distressed textures to your design work and logos in Photoshop. Method one is to add an overlay and change the blending mode to achieve a texture. So as you can see, I have a picture of some buildings here and I have a grunge texture. I got this grunge texture by taking photographs of concrete and then fixing them up with levels and adjusting them. You can make your own easily with a camera or an iPhone camera depending on what you have. So you just get this and you go to layer, duplicate layer, and I'm just gonna place it on top of the building image and you can see it's on top here. Now the secret here is to go to this blending mode section here and we're going to choose either multiply or linear burn. I like best for this kind of thing. I'm gonna choose linear burn. And as you can see right away a texture is added, but I wanna resize it. So I'm gonna resize my texture to make it fit better. Just like that, we have a texture added to our image. Very easy to do. You can adjust the intensity by adjusting the opacity or switching to a different blending mode. Method number two is to create a layer mask on top of your work. So in this example, I have a logo that I created. I've put it into Photoshop on a layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down and I'm going to choose add layer mask. Now, when I click on that, you'll notice that a white box shows up here. Now, anywhere I paint when this box is selected, anywhere that I paint black is going to subtract or hide, conceal the image and help me add in texture. So as you can see, I have it set to black. I've chosen a brush from right here. There's all sorts of brushes you, brushes you can choose from. So you can make your own brushes or of course you can look up free brushes online or you can purchase some from our shop, Retro Supply. And with the black set, all I need to do is click on my logo and I'm adding textures. Fun little tip here is if you select the brush panel, you can go to shape dynamics and you can say, adjust the angle jitter and if you look down here, you'll see it's adjusting how often it changes. What this will do is this will make it so every time you click, the angle of the brush changes a little bit. So it doesn't look like you're just stamping the same pattern everywhere. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but if you look here, you'll see that every time I click, it's flipping this around. This is great for adding really subtle textures to your work. And here I'm switching to a different brush to kind of give myself a little more diverse textures. This is a great way to add textures to your work if you want to have granular control and you wanna get more subtle textures. Method number three is to add a transparent texture on top of your work. This is a really fun one. If you get any photograph of a texture, and in this case, I just happen to have a quick picture I took of a peeled paint wall, and I can place a logo or any piece, any graphic in here. So I'll place my logo in, make it a bit bigger, maybe like that. Now this is a lot of fun because what you can do is you can turn this layer off and then with the peel paint layer selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select color range and I'm going to make sure it's set to sampled colors and I'm going to click on these cracks. And what's going to happen when I do that is I'm going to be just selecting those and placing them on top of the logo so it looks like the logo has cracks on top of it. I'm just going to adjust my sample color here. I might take a different sample for this. And you'll notice every time I click this, it's adjusting what the selection is. And then I'm sliding around to find what I need. I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to press OK. And as you'll see, there's marching ants all over the place. And if I press Command C, I can make a new layer and then I can paste that texture onto the new layer. If you look here, you can see there's actually a layer here. Now, when I turn my logo on, you'll see it looks like my logo is actually been distressed by the peeled paint. And I could take this one step further by also distressing with our previous technique with the brushes. I could add a layer mask, choose a brush, and then start adding subtle textures. So it looks like this is really on this wall here. So like I said before, you can find all the resources you need in the world around you just by using a camera and taking pictures of things. Or you can go to Retro Supply. We have all sorts of collections of brushes and textures like these that you can use to get these kind of effects. And I'll leave those links in the description below the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.